Hello, so this video will go over how to create a messaging function for a social network. So step by step, we'll first go through creating posts, then clicking a post author to go to their profile, then either creating or joining a new conversation to interact with the post author, then seeing a list of all your conversations with all post authors, and then reading and messaging in one of those conversations. So let's start with the first part, users can create posts. To do this, I've created a new data type called posts, which has a text field. What happens here is I have a repeating group of posts. I do a search for posts. And then in this individual cells, I show the text of the posts and the creator's username. So for the type user, I've added a field called username. And then when you click add here, after typing your message in the input, you then create a new post with the input's value to create new posts. Okay, and what we now want to happen is when you click any author in the kind of social network, for example, it could be like a clone of Facebook. If you click them, you go to their profile. The profile can be a group in front or behind this group or of course on a new page. This group or page would be type user. And then, for example, here we can just show the parent group's user's username. We could also, of course, show their profile picture or list of posts. So to do this, to transfer the user from here to here, we have to use a workflow. So we go on the workflow here. And the workflow is just display data in the group user. And we're going to display the creator of the current cells post. So whatever post we click, the creator is here. And we click the creator, and he's transferred over here. And now two things can happen. Either we've already contacted the creator, so we see the message button, or we have not yet ever contacted the creator, or they have also never contacted us. So it's start chat. We could also have these buttons behind each other because we will show them based on a condition. If I click the button, usually the button is hidden on page load. But when the list of contacts of the current user does not contain the user, we see the start chat button to start a conversation. And when we have got a uh, contact already with this uh, new uh, author, then its current user's list of contacts contains parent group's users. So either contains or doesn't contain. So if we've never contacted them before, we have to create a new conversation. And if we go down, so the idea is we have conversations, and each user has a list of conversations, and then each conversation will have a list of messages. So let's have a quick look of that in the database. So here we've got a conversation underneath C. Each conversation has a list of messages and a list of users involved in the conversation. So if it's two people, it would be the current user and the post author, for example. But it could also be more than one person. And then each message, if we go over to M, has a conversation. It belongs to, such as the conversation between myself and <laughs> you, the viewer, and uh, the text. So let's see how this works. So if we click Start Chat, this means that no conversation has been created yet. Therefore, we have to create the conversation. To the list of users of the conversation, we add the parent group's users. So that's the post author we clicked. And we also add the current user. So now. Uh, both users are in the list. Then we change the current user, and we've created a field belonging to user, which is a list of conversations. And to that, we add the conversation we created. And we also, to the current user, add the user we're contacting to the list of contacts. And similarly, for the user we're contacting, we're adding the conversation we created to his list of conversations and also adding the current user to the list of contacts. And the state, we go over that later. 
So basically what we've done now is we've created a new conversation. For a message, uh, this would not be necessary for a message. We would just go over to the conversation we've already created. So let's go over to the part where we create a list of all the conversations of the user. Because like on you know uh, WhatsApp, you might have 10 people you're conversing with. So here I have a group called user. So I might reach this group if I click the messaging button, for example, on my app. And then inside this group is a group type of content conversation, which is the current user's list of conversations. So you may remember here when we clicked start chat, we created a new conversation and added that conversation to the current user's list of conversations. So it's seen here. And here in this list of conversations, we want to see the user username we're actually going to talk to or chat with. So to display this is actually not that easy. Why not? Because when we're starting a chat, anyone can start a chat, either the uh, recipient or the sender. So here we only want to show the, the person who is not the current user. So therefore we have the current sales conversations list of users. So the list of users was the person from uh, the post author, as well as the current user. And now we're subtracting the current user from this list to just show the other users. Because, for example, we might have a group chat too, right? OK. And then over here, we have another group, which is a type conversation. This group was type user, and this one is type conversation. And it has as its data source uh, a state. We created the state by clicking I. And clicking Add a new custom state, we call it conversation and made it type conversation. What we want to do is when we click any of these conversations, then that conversation is shown in this group. To do this, we go in the workflow of the text element and we just set the state of the group single conversation to the current sales conversation. So whatever conversation we click is kind of displayed over here then. And then over here, we have a repeating group inside of that group, type of content message, and it shows the parent group's conversations list of messages. So all messages belonging to that single conversation between you and the content author, for example. And of course, we also need an input and an add button here to add a message. So users can message using this window. So to do this, we just create a new message with a text of the input and the conversation of the parent group. And then we have to change the parent group's conversation to add the message we've created to the list of messages. So again, we click the button Add Message, create a new message, and add that message to the conversations list of messages. OK, for example, if you have a mobile app also, these two uh, groups you could have behind each other and hide and show them so you only see one at a time. OK, and now it may be here that we've already created a conversation, so we would not see this uh, button Start Chat. We would only see the button Message. And when we click Message, we immediately want to open the Message window to message that person. To do this, we have to display a conversation in here. Uh, conversations are displayed, if we remember, through the state here, which we set. Group single conversations, that's the name of the group, and then the state, we call it a conversation. And so when we go here, it says set state. And now we're using current users, the list of conversations of the current user. But we're now looking for an advanced filter. We're only looking for the conversation whose list of users kind of where partaking in the conversation contains the parent group's user, so the post author's user, and the current user, so both of them. Because uh, this, this will be a unique, uh, unique conversation we find. Therefore, we have first item here. Because whenever we click Start Chat, a conversation is created with just the current user and the post creator's uh, user. And so therefore, the list of contacts is changed. And the list of contacts then immediately contains, actually, 
that user and so therefore when we display the message over here this current users list of conversation filtered this advanced filter will only find this unique conversation we created when we clicked start chat okay so let's uh, see how this works uh, we start over here uh, my current name is Tas and I've clicked the profile of Brian because here is Brian's post I may click Barbara's post here and then with Barbara I might want to message her and then I see the kind of past messages hi Tas is Barbara hi Barbara this is Tas hi hi from Tas again and here's my list of conversations. So Jonathan, for example, I can click and it says, hi, Tass, this is John. Hi, John, this is Tass. Hi again from Tass. And Barbara, I go back to her or Brian and it, I have no history yet with Brian. So hi, Brian, this is Tass. And here um, I can, of course, click Brian again and click message and immediately see this again and let's run this as another user to do this we can go to data app data and if i went to the all users view here and i can click run as let's say brian and brian already has these three conversations let's try to run as jonathan Jonathan also has all three conversations. And Barbara also has them. Uh, the only one, <laughs> Barbara has not talked to Barbara yet. <laughs> so therefore it says start chat, right? So if I click Jonathan, I do not see start chat, but message because I've already got a chat with Jonathan. But if I click Barbara, if I click myself, of course I could click start chat. Of course, you could create a condition so that you cannot click your own profile or start a chat with yourself. Although some people do like talking to themselves, don't they? Anyway, uh, this should be a kind of a basic set setup for a social network messaging function. We created posts. Then if you clicked a post author, you could see their profile. Then you could create or join a conversation and you could see the list of conversations up here. And then if you clicked, you could see kind of the chat. Hope this helped. For short tips on Bubble and more, check tipplestar.com. Cheers.